I just stay away from all the, the negatives, all the positive that are being said about me because you never want to get caught up. You never want to get too high off what they're saying positive about you. You never want to get down on yourself when they're saying negative things about you. Got to stay even keeled, says Louisville quarterback Teddy Bridgewater. Last year, he could have been the number one pick. This year, he may not even go in the first round. Hello, everyone. Shea Pepler here inside our campus, inside our studios. And Teddy Bridgewater seems to be one of the more intriguing players in this year's NFL draft. To discuss his pro potential, let's welcome in our Louisville insider, Lachlan McLean. And Lach, you watched Bridgewater throughout his entire career. Can you make the case for why Bridgewater will be a good pro quarterback? Yeah, intriguing is one word for it, Shea. Baffling is another how he's falling down the draft boards, if he really is. I wonder if there's not some misinformation out there. But if he's falling, I don't understand. I think teams need to look at the body of work for this guy. 23-3 and three over the last two years, super tough, makes every throw with pinpoint accuracy. His teammates love him. And most importantly, he played in a pro-style offense, had to make a lot of checks at the line of scrimmage. He's ready to call his own plays and succeed in the NFL right now. There's no development or training phase like a Blake Bortles or someone else. I understand that there's some red flags out there, but I don't know how one maybe mediocre pro day makes GMs overlook two years of outstanding, consistent excellence. Okay, Locke. Well, let's now welcome in our college football analyst, Doug Chapman. And, Doug, you heard what Lachlan has to say. What are some of the reasons you doubt Teddy as a pro quarterback? Now, Locke hit it right on the head. I mean, he's right about, about Teddy Bridgewater. He's accurate, but there's two words that he left out, and it's arm strength. And you have to have that arm strength in the NFL to put the ball in the tight windows. Who knows? He may play on a team in the NFL, NFC North. You never know he has to play outside. You never know where he's going to end up. Green Bay, Minnesota, they got to play outside of Chicago. So if he lacks the zip on the ball, teams have not seen that. I watched his pro day. When he rolls out of the pocket, he has a problem with accuracy and the ball tends to flutter. Now, besides that, he's very thinly built. Did he miss a lot of time at Louisville? No, but he was always beat up. Took a lot of big shots. Those shots get bigger in the NFL. Trust me, they hurt. And a body like that cannot take a lot of beating. And I love him. Great character guy. No off the field problems, excellent leader, but I think the arm strength and how thin his body is, I'm not sure if that'll hold up in the NFL. Yeah, and I can't really argue with those concerns, but I would again say he's played 26 games over the last two years, and he's fought through whatever injuries he had. you got to believe he's going to take that same mentality to the next level. I've also heard some people complain about his hands being too small, but he had fewer fumbles than the other QBs he's being compared against with the so-called bigger hands. I think in some extent people are looking for flaws, and if you look real hard, you can find flaws with everyone, but ultimately he is an elite quarterback and the slipping just doesn't make sense. He has bigger hands than Colin Kaepernick. Just saying. <laughs> Locke, really quick before you let you go, five seconds are left. Where would you draft Bridgewater? I normally hate taking QBs in the first round, but if you get him anywhere outside the top 20, it is a steal for any team. What do you think, Doug? If I'm Minnesota Vikings at pick eight, I take him. The problem is if him and Carr don't go, because neither of them will go ahead of Manziel or Bortles, they may slip to the second round. If I'm the Vikings, I take him at eight. Ironic. Minnesota Vikings over here. All right, Doug Chapman, thank you very much. Lachlan McLean, thank you very much for the time. Take care. And how many quarterbacks do you think will be drafted in the first round? Doug and Pete will talk over-unders in this year's NFL draft, and it's only on CampusInsiders.com.